hello everybody this is Kura. so in this video i need to explain how to buy and sell bitcoins um, in zimbabwe and so if you are watching this video for the first time please subscribe to my youtube channel just leave a comment below just say hi i'll be more than happy to answer some of the just say i'll be more than happy to say hi so in this video i need to explain how you can actually buy bitcoins buy and sell bitcoins in zimbabwe this is actually an updated video I've been doing videos on how to buy or sell bitcoins in Zimbabwe. I explain things better when I'm actually on the computer doing some little bits of diagrams and all. So let me just head over to my computer and explain how you can actually buy and sell bitcoins in Zimbabwe. This is actually 2018 that I'm actually doing this video. Let's go to my computer. So right now I'm actually on the computer. So this video is about how to buy and sell bitcoins in 2019 and let's see if there are changes. Like I said earlier on, my name is Kuda and I run a website called Kuda Online. So back then in 2000, some years back, I did a video that you're actually looking right now on your screen whereby I was sharing how to buy Bitcoins in Zimbabwe using EcoCash. And um, this used to work by just putting the money, the money that is in your EcoCash, what you would do is you'd apply for what is known as a VCN number. There's a virtual card number which would allow you to buy whatever you want online. It could be an A ticket, it could be clothing, it could be anything that you wanted to buy. So uh, as I was doing that video, I was demonstrating on how you can actually buy with um, with EcoCash. And back then, you could also buy with a Visa card. As you can see, this is a picture of a Visa card, okay? A Visa card is a bank card, okay, um, that you use to purchase online. Most banks in Zimbabwe, they offer this and um, some of them to just get a card like that and start buying anything you want online is about five dollars it depends on the banks you just need to check with your bank if they can allow you to get a mastercard or visa card to purchase online but people used to buy bitcoins and i used to buy bitcoins with my uh, bank card okay but there are some changes that actually took place in zimbabwe okay uh, those who live in zimbabwe understand that there is um, transfer money eco cash money and us dollars and bond so they kind of know the difference between those type of currencies okay so the changes that took place in zimbabwe number one uh, eco cash uh, stopped facilitating uh, online purchase okay using the, the vcn number the vcn kind of thing they just stopped doing that and then number two uh the banks in zimbabwe they actually stopped doing online purchase with uh in most accounts with uh with a transfer i'd say with a transfer okay i'd call it a transfer and people in zimbabwe would understand this okay with a transfer so um yeah those are the changes that actually took place so people couldn't buy the bitcoins with eco cash online they couldn't buy um, uh, bitcoins with transfer online okay so that was one of the biggest challenges and most people also couldn't purchase anything with eco cash online so and then uh after the changes took place they came um someone with an idea where you could buy the bitcoins on a website that is called golix.com so when this website was launched it was actually solving the problem where people couldn't buy bitcoins using eco cash or a bank transfer so on golix on the website golix.com you could buy bitcoins with eco cash and bank transfer with ease so it was more like a marketplace uh whereby the buyer meets the seller and then the golix was actually working as the escrow service they would exchange um they would exchange they would exchange the bitcoins between uh between the buyer and the seller and then they get the card that's how it used to it used to work but at uh, the time that i'm doing this video there has been changes on golix when the reserve bank on zimbabwe issued issued a statement that anyone dealing with bitcoin should actually uh stop using uh bitcoin so one of the companies that was affected was um golix because it had i would say it was the first exchange between exchange in zimbabwe and it did a huge database so when um the reserve bank of zimbabwe issued that statement it affected the users 
uh, that we're using Golix, but it was actually the perfect place where you can actually securely buy your Bitcoin, EcoCash or bank transfer with, with ease. And right now as I'm actually doing this video, um, I've received an email from Golix that they are actually working out on um, resuming their, um, they are they are actually resuming their services pretty soon but this left a lot of people stranded but anyway now uh, you can actually google this story on on the internet it's available on the internet just uh type in um golix wins the court case and, and all that okay let me not talk much about golix but i need to get to the idea or to the point where i why i made this video how you can actually buy bitcoins um in zimbabwe right now now the first way you can actually buy bitcoins online in Zimbabwe right now is you can actually pre-fund your bank account with US dollar. Okay. You can actually pre-fund your bank account with US dollar and your bank account must allow, must be, a, must give you a MasterCard or a Visa card which allows online purchases. And then you can go to a website called SpectroCoin. I'm going to put the link below this description and you can actually buy your your bitcoins there depending with your bank but most banks in zimbabwe they say you need to pre-fund your account with us dollar not a bank transfer not bond not but you have to use usd another way of actually um buying bitcoins is you need to buy bitcoins from people that you know like and trust okay there's a lot of people that are using bitcoins in zimbabwe for different purposes Especially those who are actually trading, they're actually making huge profits in, in trading. And oh, I, I don't know what other people are using bitcoins for, but and I don't know what you want to use bitcoins for. And if it is selling, you can actually sell your bitcoins on local bitcoins and you receive your money via Western Union, uh, in USD. Okay, it's something that you need to learn as well. Uh, using local bitcoins, it's not something that you just have to go and do it alone, you need to find someone who has used it. So that they can show you how to go about it because on local bitcoins as well you may lose money if you don't know what you are actually doing now the best thing that i need to encourage everyone who needs to learn about bitcoins you know i talk to a lot of people and most of these people they're just hearing that people are making money from bitcoin yet they don't understand the risk and the rewards that bitcoin offers you know like in any business there is risk and there is rewards so you better understand what the risks are and the rewards are and then you jump on with two feet understanding what you are actually doing not to be surprised when things go wrong and start complaining as if you didn't know what you were doing so what i've done uh, some few years back when i realized the demand of bitcoins in zimbabwe i created a bitcoin for beginners course you know i'm not saying i know everything about bitcoin and cryptocurrency but i am just a few steps ahead of others okay so this training covers what is bitcoin how to make money from bitcoin how to avoid bitcoin scams how to um get started with bitcoin how to send bitcoins how to receive bitcoins how to buy them how to sell them anything you need to know to get started about bitcoin is covered in that course so the link that you're seeing on your screen right now is where you can actually get the training and i'm also going to put the training link below this um this video so that being said i know i may have missed something in this video but please i'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to answer some of the things that i may have uh, missed please just give a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and i look forward to hearing your success story soon bye for now